Well, look at us. We're at episode 90. 10 more to go. We're at 100. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's focus on episode 90 first before we even get to 100. Originally, this video was going to be the reissue of Titans Return Mind Wipe, but I figured to celebrate Black History Month, we are going to look at Marvel Legends Black Panther from the Wakanda Forever Wave that came out towards the end of 2022 because that's when the movie came out. So here's the history of Black Panther and I. So I first saw Black Panther in the Ultimate Avengers 2 movie, and then we progressed a little further into Earth's Mightiest Heroes, and then progressed a little further to his MCU debut back in Civil War. So let's get into the toy now. I think in all honesty, this is probably one of my favorite Marvel Legends figures, like period. I think it has to do with the simplicity of the outfit, basically meaning less is more. I think another thing is just how natural he looks, just standing still. It's so lifelike, and I guess you could thank the Vulcan body type, but you be the judge, I guess. And I really love the cape. I think Black Panther should always have a cape no matter what, so kind of sucks we didn't get a cape in the MCU, but I mean, I'm sure they'll do it eventually, right? Getting into accessories, Black Panther comes with fists, so you could recreate the Wakanda Forever pose. And open claw hands so you could have him battle some enemies, which I have none of. So, kind of makes this pose a little awkward, right? Alright, articulation. Um, so, the head can go all the way up, that far up. All the way down, which we don't give a Transformers at all. Because it's on a hinge, ball joint thing. So the head is like, stuff like that. Obviously, you could look all around. Hyper senses, butterfly joint. Apparently, there's like a problem with the this body type with the armpit joints, but I mean, it doesn't really affect me. So, yeah, the arm goes all the way around because why wouldn't it not? Even the cape doesn't get in the way. Hinge the arm all the way that way. Um, bicep swivel all the way around. Little jointed elbows, and guess what? They're pinless, so that's cool. For a swivel and a hinge, have crunch that far forward, that far back, which is crazy back. It's awesome. Waist swivel all the way around. The only problem is that the belt gets caught and looks a bit out of whack in some aspects, but it goes that far forward. doesn't really go back that much um, the spread isn't crazy wide but it's very good thigh swivel obviously uh, double jointed knees pinless as well because it's the Vulcan body type and calf swivel then hinge forward hinge back and ankle pivot. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and that's a problem. Mine has a bit loose ankles, but it's manageable. Better than the Dark Trooper. Getting into comparisons, here's Black Panther with the other Marvel Legends figures that I have looked at. Uh, minus one, because I didn't want to pull it out. So yeah, that's the most recent Black Panther figure from Marvel Legends, and I'll be completely honest, I barely got this guy in January instead of, like, December when he first came out, and I saw him quite a few times, but I don't know why I kept putting him off a bit, but, oh well, I got him in January, and I, as soon as I opened this figure, I basically fell in love. This figure is amazing, I honestly recommend that you go get this guy, like, right now. Go to your store right now, this moment, and go buy one. This figure is amazing. I urge you to go buy one. Okay, I'm joking. You don't have to go buy one. It's just, but I do recommend it. So I guess there's no way of wiggling my way out of it because it's sort the two are sort of interlinked, but unfortunately we did lose Chadwick Boseman a couple of years ago, I think. And it really sucks because he was... Things were looking up 
for his career and stuff like that. But unfortunately, things don't go as planned. So it's very unfortunate. But I guess the bright side of things is that even though he was going through what he was going through, he was still making people's days, making kids' days especially. And I guess that's the most important thing, right? So... Yeah, I guess now it's time to be a YouTube chill, unfortunately, because that's the nature of YouTube. So, like this video if you like this video. Subscribe notifications on so you don't miss whenever I upload a video. And share this to all Black Panther fans that you may know. Because this video is basically for them. So, other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.